Previously we had this hub based on the trailer spindle in the center, but now I'm exploring one with skateboard bearings on a single piece of thick plywood that turns into a DIY slowing ring. And the benefit here, among other things, is that you can scale it to what your need is. For a larger table, this could easily become larger. And it's low profile, which gives you more options on the legs underneath the table. The construction is pretty simple. We have the one piece here, bearings around the outside, bearings here to control it horizontally, and then bearings here to resist the uplift force. And all of these are referenced off of one piece of wood which has factory surfaces on two of those, and the other one can be done with a router on a circle jig, so they're all quite smooth, and thus gives you quite a smooth motion while also being fairly tight in all of the axes. Before we start mounting arms to this, I need to cut some access holes for the lever arms and the torque tubes to reach through it. Bolting these arms on appears like a simple next step, but even if these holes were in the perfect spot, there's enough play that this alignment could be all over the place and cause a lot of trouble later. So the plan here is to lay out a full-size circle on the lower surface and then fixture these in place using that, which allows us to lay this on top, bolt it into place, and then lift it off and have everything be aligned. Excellent. Our main lines go across, and then I've divided those here. When I double check the distance between each of them, I'm basically debating the thickness of the line. That makes me feel good. The extrusion has these very helpful ridges that run along it, so I'm gonna use those down here to center it on the line. The arms have been positioned. They're either completely fixed in all but one direction or there's only just a hair of wiggle. So I think this is good enough. This bottom plate is pretty simple, just some three-quarter with a hole pattern in it. These spacers should probably be a solid ring in the final version, but for right now these were much easier to build and it also gives me access from the side, which is pretty helpful when you're adjusting and figuring things out. Supporting this drive plate is a great example of thinking about something in CAD and having a plan and then immediately throwing it out when you have to try it in reality. This needs to be fixed while these can rotate underneath. So the original plan was just to build up a series of wooden rings and then support this on top. The problem with that, of course, is that you have to cut out a lot of rings and then stack them together and do it accurately or make a big block and then carve it down, which is difficult because of how tall this is and you can't get router bits that long. It's much easier to just build something like this where you can rip it to width to get your height on the table saw Use the chop saw to put angles on the end, and then set this in place. Let's talk about the torque tubes. They're going to be supported by blocks, which clamp to the front of the lifting track. Here I'm using an 8mm shaft. I think that should be fine based on some testing, but I do have room to go to 12 if I need that extra diameter for, for getting a good clamp force. On the outside here, I'll temporarily be using the same style block to hold it up 
but eventually that'll sit on the perimeter ring. To speed things up, I reused some existing shaft clamps that I had bought before and simply cut off the tabs and then added on some wings here to make these torque tubes. So it'll sit like this, it'll ride up the ramp and do the lifting that way. Quite smooth, reliable lift as well. I had to modify a few things on this cart in order to get the spacing to allow this vertical motion as well as the correct distance here, but that's okay, we'll clean it up later. I put this piece of large heavy wall pipe on as a load test. That's it for the progress today. I'm feeling quite good about this DIY hub and the new torque tube strategy. There's a lot of details to clean up here, but fundamentally, the rigidity is living up to the hype. That feels smooth. It gives me flexibility. I feel like we're definitely going in a much better direction with this hub. This spacing has also been worked out in order to give me more thickness for the skirt. And I'm hoping that by having an inch or maybe more which will substantially increase the stiffness of that skirt. I can then go back to the two-piece solution, which allows me to have the top remain keyed and, uh, and all of that and avoid some of the other issues. So that'll be the next thing to test. And if that goes well, then I think I'm ready to go for an all-up test on this new version. Thank you for watching.